Hello everyone and welcome to Daria Draws. Today I am tackling a challenge called New Shape of a Canvas. So instead of a regular square or a rectangle, it is going to be oval. However, I am sticking to my favorite theme of citrus fruits and lemons more specifically. Also, the paintings will be done in one and a half uh, sitting. So uh, there is a bit of a pressure, but I am very much excited for the challenge. So let's see what happens. It is going to be two paintings, so two separate lemons, uh, but they will be united by the same uh, shape, size of the canvas, as well as the color scheme. For the color scheme, of course, I have chosen uh, two yellows, uh, one of which is a little brighter, and the other one is uh, Indian yellow, which is a bit um, deeper. Uh, white, uh, ultramarine blue, and a green so that I could mix and match all of the needed shades. As I am trying to make a more sketchy, more effortless painting, I am going to tone the canvas with the future uh, color of the background, which is going to be this nice sky blue. Sketching may seem like the very first step, which allows you to make mistakes, but not in this case, uh, because I need everything to be perfect from the first try, so I am really taking my time uh, to make each stroke precise and in the right place. So once this sketch is done, I am starting to build the shadows and I'm just kind of drawing them in with the same uh, green that I have been sketching. So this green layer serves kind of like an underpainting, which will help uh, guide myself in the future with the right colors. As you can see, I'm slowly starting to build the mid-tones and just giving the, um, the lemon a little bit of dimension, but still keeping that green that I initially put in there so that it has a nice reflection from the leaves that surround the lemon. At this point, I want to build not only the visual effect of a dimension, but actual texture that is tangible. So I am using the lighter shades at this point uh, to bring out the full spectrum of the values. But of course, I am keeping the shadows a little more flat, a little more smooth, while the lights are um, more textured and a little bit um, freer in terms of brush strokes. Mm -hmm. 
The second lemon is more sunlit, so um, there are less shadows and more work with the midtones and the lights, but still uh, having to deliver that dimension and uh, kind of a feeling that it's real, uh, that's the challenge without the contrasting shadows. Of course, because the lemons aren't perfect circle or sphere, the shadows are going to be bumpy um, on the shapes as well. And I guess it kind of makes the job a little easier because I don't have to be as precise, but it also makes the job a little more challenging at the same time because it has to look natural. Also, I wanted to create a very diverse uh, color range from a very cold lemon yellow to uh, almost orange um, so that it has all the colors that an actual lemon would have. So using two uh, yellows is definitely a good idea so you could just have a larger range. And one of my favorite tricks to carve out the shapes is to use a more contrasting, um, perhaps a lighter uh, background on the shadow side of the object that you're painting. And even though the background of both of the paintings is um, the sky blue, I like to add a lot of reflection from the object, so that would be yellow and a little bit of orange, as well as some green in that sky blue background. Course, the most uh, textured place on the painting is going to be those highlights um, and they just add also to that feeling of um, that porous uh, skin that a lemon has. So once the paintings have dried up, I decided to go with a semi-transparent layer to deepen those shadows, to add more dimension and to make those highlights and the lights really pop. Normally I wouldn't use uh, the tissue to kind of rub around uh, that layer, but in this case I feel like it adds to that effect, uh, it adds to the texture of the lemon itself. Mm -hmm. 
And of course, I'm using the same uh, solution to uh, enhance a little bit the leaves to darken the shadows in them as well. I feel like the background is the element that kind of brings all the other things together into one cohesive composition, so I do like to pay attention to it and adding some uh, last touches. So here's the end result of these two little quick paintings. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content from me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.